when using the speed right fault finder it's imperative that you start using it at the beginning of the fence that's the closest point to the energizer or the outlet from the energizer if your fault finder shows zero amps or no current flow then your fence is in tip-top condition if you have a multiple wire electric fence it's important that you measure each wire individually to account for all of the current flow on your fence line at that point the fault finder will look at your whole fence system and let you know whether you have any shorts and if you do just how bad they are you can then travel along your fence line using the fault finder at 100 meter intervals to measure not only your voltage but your current flow to easily find the fault so when placing your fault finder on the fence to take a reading you can see that we have 20 amps of current on the fence and then when we move past the simulated fault we only have 4 amps on the fence which means that we're losing 16 amps on our simulated fault but we still have a smaller fault further up the fence line one of the features of the Speedrite Fault Finder remote control is that it has not only the current flow but also the voltage on the same screen so it's possible to see at a glance the condition of your fence and also your fence voltage also with the Speedrite Fault Finder there are no earth leads required simply place your hand across the foil on the back that earths the fault finder and gives you a more accurate reading when placing the fault finder on the fence it's an easy clip system that doesn't allow any accidental shock the fault finder is a great tool enabling you to not only find faults but also to turn the fence off at any point on your property fix the fault and then re-energize the fence with the fault finder with the fault finder take a reading on all the wires at the start of the fence line if the amps are zero, then your fence is in tip-top condition. If not, then you will likely have a fault on the fence line somewhere. Take a reading at regular intervals, watching for a drop in the current reading. This will guide you to the fence fault.